Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Matthew Sabi here for LockerGnome.com. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Mozilla Firefox 4 Beta 7. Quite a mouthful for quite a browser. So obviously, as you can see, Mozilla has tried to come back into the browser battle with their new version of Mozilla Firefox. The only real reason, or the only, should I say, the only issue that I've experienced with the Mozilla 40007 Fox Beta browser is every time I try and open up the browser, arrow crashes. So, um, not sure why, but that's the only issue that I've experienced with it so far. So, in this new beta, I'm not going to say the name again, Mozilla has integrated a lot of new features and a quick little speed boost. So, uh, it is a large improvement over the last version of Firefox. So, as, as you can see, I am here on LockerGnome.com. And the first thing that you'll probably notice is the new interface changes. So as you can see, we have the new forward and back buttons, the home buttons, and your uh, basic navigation menu. And since this is a beta, you can say why Firefox made you happy or sad by going into this menu right here. So let's go ahead and get into some of the new features and going into the biggest feature, which is the tab grouping feature. Or you can just go ahead and watch the little video here and see how this works. But basically, as you can see, we come into this little new interface by clicking the button right up in the right-hand corner. We can go ahead and organize our different tabs. As you can see, by dragging them around, we can close them, click on which one we would like. So if you have a couple dozen tabs, which, uh, let's admit it, it does happen to all of us sometimes. You can go into here. You can even drag these separate groups around. You can create new groups for your tabs. Keep it a little more organized. You can even search through them. I'll just click on the little search box here. I'll type in blog. It'll come up with uh, LockerGnome.com, which has the title Blog Network. So I will go ahead and click on one of these once again. Mozilla has tried to come ahead in the races by adding most of the new features that Microsoft's Internet Explorer 9 beta has added, including full HTML5 support and hardware acceleration, including OpenGL support. They've also added one new feature that I'd love to see come to some other new browsers in the near future, which is full multi-touch support. Another upgrade that Mozilla has included into the beta is a better support for Flash videos or just Flash content altogether, which as you can see, it is much smoother than previous versions of Firefox. Um, somehow it does use a lot less resources and it's a, just a lot more optimal experience using Flash content inside the browser, as you can see, being tested out by our friend Lamar Wilson. So here I am on YouTube.com slash LockerGnome. They've also added the all-new Firefox Sync, as you can see here, which we can go ahead and set up. Um, obviously, similar to the syncing feature in Google Chrome, which is in, being integrated in mostly all browsers today. So you can see we can go ahead and create up a new account, which I don't think I'll do right now. One feature they've also improved upon is one that I actually really disliked about previous versions of Firefox, which is the way to view and modify add-ons, which as you can see, we do have the new uh, add-on feature UI here. We can go ahead, disable them, remove them, and inside appearance, we have all our different uh, themes, I assume. Yes, uh, right here. So you can see I have the live with music theme installed currently. You can go into plugins, and we can go ahead and click on get add-ons right at the top here, and install new add-ons and plugins right here from uh, inside our add-ons viewing section. So as you can see, you can go ahead and click on these, add some new add-ons, which would be a uh, appropriate term. A few little enhancements into the all history library, as you can see here, a bit more optimized over previous versions. And visually and feature-wise, that is pretty much it, guys. Ah, and one more thing that I forgot to touch on, which I should have done right in the beginning, is the most obvious feature when you look at in getting a browser, speed. So I'll go ahead and reload one of these pages here. Here's our friend Lamar again. And you can see how the speed is in uh, the new Firefox. So as you can see, very speedy, very nice, a big enhancement over the older version. If you guys want to go test that out for yourselves with the older and newer versions installed, which uh, it won't update your older Firefox browser. It will just install the separate beta. So you will be able to do that. This has been Matthew Sabia for LockerGnome.com and youtube.com slash locker gnome we have our community geeks at geeks.prillo.com and i don't believe i have open right now our question and answers community of course at locker gnome.net and as usual we're streaming live 24 hours a day seven days a week at live 
www.perillo.com. With bacon.